गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हेलो हाउ आर यू आई थिंक यू आर फाइन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू सेक्शन इन विच वी हैव सम स्टोरीज टू बी स्टडीड एंड दीज स्टोरीज हैव ए ग्रेट इम्पोर्टेंस रिगार्डिंग द एग्जामिनेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव फर्स्ट स्टोरी ए कप ऑफ टी this story is very interesting and it's written by katherine mansfield i am dr sar bhargav associate professor department of english this story has an introduction and a relevant theme the question frequently asked in examinations on this topic the question may be asked in this forum The story A Cup of Tea deals with the theme of social snobbery and womanly jealousy. Explain it. So, in the introductory part of the story A Cup of Tea, the theme is also followed. First of all, I introduce you Catherine Mansfield. Catherine Mansfield was born in eighteen eighty eight and died in early age nineteen twenty three. She was born in New Zealand. but lived most of her working life as a writer in london was an expert at writing this kind of short story she would craft a narrative surrounding an item or event that at first seems to so inconsequential casual but ultimately reveals serious and introspective themes beneath the surface of the story let us bite into simple slice of life as we review a cup of tea a cup of tea is a modernist style short story written by katherine mansfield in 1922 rosemary rosemary is the chief character protagonist is caught up in a fantasy of helping others but it doesn't go as planned so the introduction of the katherine mansfield the writer is very simple she was born in new zealand and she had a limited range of writing stories and this story is very interesting because the female character who is the heroine of the story is a protagonist and she has different types of interests katherine mansfield's so stories are known as the canvas painted with complexities of life she seems to be an artist who paints his art on a canvas with the difficulties of life they explore the innermost recesses of the mind and unearth dramatic situations the stories of mansfield explore the innermost part of mind and it opens the situations which have been dramatically prepared on the canvas in this story we see that how rosemary comes across a poor girl in the story the poor girl meets rosemary and demands a cup of tea as the name suggests she is shivering with cold and she demands a cup of tea and rosemary doesn't help her but takes her her home and shows her luxurious things but the girl is shivering with cold she demands a cup of tea and in the end she is given a cup of tea along with some biscuits but she is relieved very soon as her husband the husband of rosemary philip feels attracted towards her and it is the reason of jealousy when the husband philip gets to know this he tries to stop rosemary as he feels that miss smith should not be there with them and rosemary feels very jealous that she doesn't like her husband philip to call the poor girl as pretty and she doesn't like her stay for a long time so she gives her 
some amount so that she can purchase anything whatever she likes he declares that he has found the girl awfully pretty the word pretty disturbs the peace of mind of rosemary this changes the equations and jealousy wants over generosity how the changes in the mind of rosemary and she is full of jealousy because she was generous but it is jealousy that controls her generosity as we see the story we have to summarize in this form a cup of tea set in 1920s as london though it was published in 1922 rosemary fell the name of the character the protagonist is a wealthy young matron she belongs to royal aristocratic family wealthy we meet her while she is on a shopping trip in town she is fond of purchasing new things in curzon street antique shops in an antique shop she examines an expensive jewelry box that she would love to have on she looks at jewelry box and tries to purchase ultimately yet after inquiring about the price she decides against the purchase at least for that day she wants to purchase other things also but she likes the jewelry box much without the longed for purpose rosemary returns to the street where she is approached by a poor raggedy looking young woman about her own age <coughs> the poor beggar like woman with her age comes to her and asks something for her necessity the young woman asks for the price of a cup of tea and says she has no money which rosemary finds unimaginable the young man the young woman asks nothing except a price of a cup of tea because she is without money and rosemary thinks that in this world some poor people like this girl doesn't have money single money there is another aspect may be hidden in this story the husband doesn't fall for the poor girl's beauty rather he just wants his wife to get rid of the lady she has brought in in this story we see that the writer talks about the husband who appreciates the beauty of the poor girl whether his intention was different but he wants to get rid of the girl is it right or not but the writer says that he appreciates her beauty and appreciates more than her wife philip na philip the name of the husband who suggests that he shall read the milliner's gazette cheap magazine popular among the working class women this is the name of the newspaper so that he can talk to their new guest he is interested to talk the poor girl and he invites her to have a party with the girl in the room dinner room it's a reference to the snobishness of the husbands or her as well snobish snobish the mentality of the person whether he is or she is narrow minded the theme occurs here rosemary was not helping the girl out of some true love rosemary doesn't like her husband to called to be to call the girl as beauty pretty full pretty and she doesn't like the girl to be helped because it is true love of her husband that comes in the way it was an effort to pacify her own social service fashion 
which is much in trend as it was in those days now the main character rosemary doesn't like to keep her fashion of social service but she tries to get rid of the girl as soon as possible husband plays a trick by showing his affections towards miss smith however philip tries to show pretends to be cynical because she appreciates miss smith with her affection or her affectionate nature he knew his wife and generates a feeling of insecurity and jealousy intentionally this may be the reason that he is going to test his wife because he appreciates the pretty of beauty of the girl and it is the trick that makes her wife makes his wife jealous insecure intentionally money is given to the girl but she is chased away by rosemary and then she returns to her stereotype character and tries to woo the husband by her looks and makeup now rosemary tries to escape or get rid of the girl so she hands over some money to the girl and tries and makes her go because she doesn't like her stay and she shows her to love for husband philip and she makes up she decorates her and ask her to love nothing wrong through nothing wrong though but we are confused and intrigued about her fake helpful heart which forgets the purpose of helping others the moment she feels that the charity she was doing can be threat to her own family life in this story the audience the readers are confused because they don't like the idea of rosemary who seems to be very social in service but she forgets the purpose of social service charity and because she is afraid of the consequences that she might be doing a wrong for her husband suddenly inspired by the tales of dostoevsky that she has recently read rosemary experiences a charitable inspiration and takes the girl home in the beginning we see that rosemary was inspired by a russian novelist and catherine mansfield tells everything through the mouth of rosemary and she is very charitable and she takes the girl home of course the reader questions as mansfield intended the true sensitive rosemary's impulse it takes about talks about the feeling the true emotion of rosemary we all believe in helping the less fortunate however this wealthy young woman seems more taken with her own fantasy of philanthropy than any real desire to help at any rate the young miss smith doesn't go home with rosemary and is given an abundant tea with all the trimmings and how rosemary helps her in giving her tea while they are having tea miss mr phil philip comes into the bedroom and finds this unexpected guest he takes rosemary into her another room where he first expresses disapproval of the, what his wife has done and then speaks appreciatively about their poor visitor's beauty once back with her charitable case rosemary now feels old and without direction what should she do ultimately she gives miss smith some cash and sends her on her way so how she rose how rosemary gets it of the girl because her husband doesn't like the coming of the new guest in excess about her own experience rosemary takes great care in dressing for dinner and seeks reassurance of her charm for philip so jealousy comes in the way and rosemary shows her loyal to her husband and she tries to 
make the girl go from the home thank you students for your nice cooperation thanks you have understood the chapter